hello and welcome again to another video so in this video i'm going to show you um, how to install ftp server on um, linux so for this demonstration i'm using linux mint so as you can see i have installed the linux mint on my virtual machine so i can demonstrate this video to you so what is ftp server okay so ftp uh, which is also stand for a file transfer protocol uh, is a useful way of transferring files between a client and a server depending on the permission uh, granted to a user they can uh, private uh, like uh, directories on the servers download the files on their local computer and also like upload files from their computer to the server usually servers uh, kept uh, secure only allowing the user account to log in by ftp but it is also possible to configure anonymous authorization which uh, allow anyone to connect that server to download and or upload any file so running an ftp server is good uh, choice but uh, if you need to allow user to access post file or grant them ability to put their local files on the server uh, this is because the ftp server is widely uh, supported especially on linux system simple to use and it's like easy to configure when it comes to user permission so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to install that so let me open my terminal okay so uh, let me just uh, zoom in a bit so it will be visible properly you have to make sure that uh, ftp is not encrypted okay ftp will uh, like uh, surface for some uh, situation but for connection over the internet sftp is recommended because uh, ftp is not secure to the user over an internet connection since your credential and data are transmitted without encryption the s in sftp stand for secure and it tunnel the ftp protocol through ssh providing the encryption needed to establish a secure connection so to do that we are going to use vs ftpd vs ftpd it stand for very secure ftp daemon and this is one of the most uh, popular ftp server for linux others are also exist but uh, vs ftpd is uh, uh, what i will recommend you so how you can install that so first of all what you have to do we have to uh, like uh, install the uh, vs ftpd services in our system so to do that we are going to type sudo apt then install then vs ftpd so type this command and hit enter it will ask you for your root password so as you can see uh, it's uh, downloading and installing this vsftd service in my system and it's done so if you're running any uh, like uh, fedora centos or amda linux and redder then you have to use the sudo dnf install vstp okay and for arch linux you can use pacman so now uh, like it's always a best uh, practice to keep the backup copy of the original file okay just in case like something goes wrong later so i'm going to rename this configuration file so let me try sudo c then let's say something like that and then hit enter okay now uh, we are going to create a new uh, vs activity configuration file using like any tool you wanted to use i'm going to use nano so type nano then type sudo nano then the location and then hit enter okay now uh, we have to like uh, 
make some changes over here as we have uh, like uh, removed the original file i mean we just uh, renamed the original file we have to make sure to put some details so these are the details we are going to insert i'm going to mention this on my blog so you can copy this from there so let me just paste this thing and then like these are the basic details like we have to uh, enable the listen equal to you know okay and then over here this changes we have to make sure then i'm going to save this file press ctrl x for nano then y then enter okay the file is now saved now we have to configure the firewall because in the linux system sometimes the firewall uh, the firewall will block the ftp uh ports okay so the firewall can uh, like uh, allow the ports and it will not block anything for the ftp server so for we're going to type sudo then type ufw this is the term that we use for uh, like firewall so we're going to type allow then from any to any port then we are going to mention the port like number so it will be 20 comma 21 okay and the protocol will be tcp and then hit enter um i think i have typed something wrong let me just check once yeah i think i have just uh, forget to put a space and then hit enter okay so as you can see it's saying rule updated okay and rule updated for v6 so the firewall is done now now uh, we are going to like so now the configuration file is set so we are, and the firewall rule is also updated so now we have to restart the vs FTP servers to apply the new changes so for to do that we are going to type sudo system ctl restart and then type this or you can type this also and then hit enter okay so our ftp server is now ready to receive incoming connection so now it's time to create a new user account so they can use this uh, ftp server so let me create a user account for the ftp server so i'm going to type sudo then user add then let's say the uh, user id will be sam okay so i'm going to hit enter and the new account for sam is now created so i'm going to change the password for this user okay now i'm going to change the uh, user password that i have created so i'm going to type sudo sam and then hit enter now we have to uh, enter a password for that particular user so okay i have like successfully changed the password for that now okay so in order to verify everything is working properly we have to like uh, make sure that it's uh, working properly now uh, we are going to uh, connect okay so as you can see the user is now created so that's all our uh, FTP server is now created so i'm going to show you how to connect that so what i'm going to do to check here i'm going to type ftp then one okay then hit enter and okay so as you can see i have typed ftp protocol and then entered my uh, loopback ip now it's saying that connected to my loopback ip means this server this is the protocol they are using and now they are asking for the username okay so to do that i'm going to type sam now they are asking for that password that, that we have entered and now as you can see login successful the remote system is unix uh, using binary remote to transfer files okay so this is how we can create but uh, let me show you from uh, my host system okay so i'm going to open this software called winsap this is a soft open source uh, software that uh, allow many kind of file protocols so i'm going to use ftp over here and then uh, 
uh, as you can see this is my uh, server ip uh, like this is the server ip where i have installed the ftp server the ip is 1.121 if you want to check your ip address you can just type ip addr and then hit enter it will show you all the ethernet port ip address and this is the ip address that uh, i am having to the system so let me just open and type the same ip address over here then the username sam and the password for this user that i have entered and then login and as you can see we are logged in inside of the user so you can like uh, create any files or you can move files from here to there something like this and it will be moved so this is how you can configure the ftp server so if you find this video any helpful or if you find any value from this video please like this video and subscribe my channel so thank you for watching and have a nice day